The best World Cup match to date. This was a remarkable match. Wales narrowly prevailed in that contest. Semi Radradram may have scored a try and given Fiji a victory if he had caught the ball with the line wide open and the clock running down. Radradra dropped the ball, allowing Wales to win. The team of Warren Gatland almost threw it away. After 67 minutes, Wales led 32 14 and had the upper hand. But as Fiji roared back, they disintegrated late. Ref Matthew Colley gave the Pacific Islanders a bad bargain. Wales excelled for a very long time. However, Gatland will be aware that his team was released from custody. He said, I'm thrilled with the win but a little frustrated with the last 15 minutes. When we were in charge of the game, we made numerous bow judgment calls on penalties and discipline. Numerous lessons will be learned. I believe that as the tournament progresses, we will improve. When you are 30 to 14 in front, you maintain your accuracy and discipline and don't let any opportunities present themselves. That, in my opinion, is the biggest letdown. Attempts made in the previous seven minutes by the raging Mesek Doge and Josua Tuisava witnessed Fiji re-enter the race. They appeared to be the ones to win in the end as well. Rudradra spilled the pass, though it was a challenging one, of all persons. With seven seconds remaining, I considered simply going to the locker rooms and waiting until the final horn. Gatland continued, for six to seven minutes, we were at ease, and we needed to maintain that. I'm a little irritated and frustrated with how it ended. All of the data favoured Fiji. They controlled 61% of the possession, and 65% of the area. Wales had to make a whopping 248 tackles, compared to Fiji's meagre 70. There were more tackles than ever before in a World Cup game. Fiji's onslaught covered an enormous 652 metres of distance. However, the discipline contains important figures. Despite giving up 17 penalties, Gatlund's team only received one caution. Corey de Mahofsky, a replacement prop, was banned. However, as Fiji pounded on the door in the closing minutes, the Welsh scrum broke down and their defence became desperate. Colley made the decision that no more Wales players should be suspended. Simon Raiwalu, the head coach of Fiji, said, We had our chances, but we weren't really clinical enough. At the very end, we had a chance to win it by scoring. We didn't take full use of it. Talking when you're sweaty after the game is quite difficult. We received numerous penalties in the corner, but Wales was not issued a caution. We did when we were on the other end. It's challenging. Although the job of a referee is challenging, as coaches, all we are looking for is consistency. There were a few times when we felt like we didn't get the green light. Wales managed to escape with five points and a victory with extra points. Anyone who had even a passing interest in Welsh rugby would have felt their heart race. This game has a lot of promise, and it was fulfilled. The fact that Wales World Cup campaign is off to a successful start is extremely important for their confidence and momentum. Gatlin's team should be commended greatly for roofing out the fantastic Fijians. After a gruelling opening 40 minutes, Wales managed to lead 18-14, but their lack of force and inability to slow Fiji's ball down raised major questions. They ultimately performed well, but boy, was their work involved. Wales got off to a strong start. Adam Beard kicked off the game in a steamy environment. Breakdown penalty awarded to Will Rowlands. The kick by Dan Bigger was perfect. Wales resisted early pressure from Fiji. George North clearly broke the cue. The ball travelled left from the field position and Josh Adams was sent near the goal line by Liam Williams' superb pass. Williams gave the air a punch. Bigger was unable to convert. Teddy Teela's attempt to score for Fiji after Wales overplayed in their own half was abhorrent, 
but his intrepid skipper Wazia Naya Kalevu saved him. The Fijian center ran all the way to the finish line. Soon, Fiji had a second. After the Pacific Islanders scored right away in the opening phase, shouts of Fiji, Fiji could be heard. Rudradra was one player who ran a mock in the face of shoddy Welsh defence. The final touches were provided by Lekima Tajita Jivalu. The two kicks were added by Franklo Moni, who had obviously had enough of Teela. Wales had to score next, which they accomplished thanks to a successful kick by Bigger. Later, the fly half twice chose corners over three points and he was rewarded when North scored between the posts. It was harem scarum material and maybe too frank for Wales. Regularly, Fijian tacklers melted red jerseys. As he dove for the line, Aroni Maui had what would have been a third Fiji try disallowed. Then, as Wales managed to escape without giving up any more goals, Gareth Davis was tackled high and compelled to leave for a head injury examination. The edgy aspect of Wales' mindset was summed up by Bigger's remarkable scolding of North and Nick Tompkins for not kicking the ball out with the clock dead. For the beginning of the second half, Davis came back on. Wales needed to simply find a method to slow down Fiji's quick ball movement and dominant carriers. Bigger missed a penalty and was unable to increase their lead. Then an important phase appeared. Tompkins was willing to stand up and be counted after playing possibly his greatest game for Wales. Adams performed a wing dance. Jack Morgan, a rookie captain, then unexpectedly picked up and crossed to Louis Rees Zamet. The outcome was expected. Bigger made a solid kick. Adams' impressive attacking work was followed by a devastating defensive hit and jackal. Despite his difficulties, Bigger persevered with vigor. Just before the hour, Wales substituted Tommy Reffel, a specialist in breakdowns, for Torlup Falatau, moving Aaron Wainwright to the no. 8 position. Levoni Bosha, a jackal danger from Fiji also showed up. Both teams emptied their benches. You had to finish it. The intensity and tempo of the game were downright terrifying. It was enjoyable to see for people who are not biased in any way. Wales gave up numerous penalties on their own turf. When a yellow card seemed certain and they managed to win a goal line dropout, they got away with a warning from Collie. He instantly gave Tajita Jivalu a card after failing to give Wales one, and Elliot D was then run over for Gatland's side bonus point try after that. Tajita Jivalu was simbined by Collie, which was extremely harsh. Sam Costillo was sent on to replace Bigger when he limped off after making the conversion before Wales prop Corey Dimitrovsky's yellow card evened the score. Fiji's third goal came from Tuisava while Wales was under intense pressure late in the game. Wales' scrum broke down, and they ought to have received more infractions. Fiji did receive a four-try bonus point thanks to Doge's efforts. Wales barely managed to hold on as North was forced into an emergency flanker position, but Fiji would have won if Radradra had not dropped the ball with the game on the line at the very last moment.